Hey guys, Silence Silenceo here. Welcome back to another video of Utha Macross with me. So, brand new event. Once again, we talk about the playstyles and what you can do to help yourself uh, get up there in the ranks. So, let's take a look at the um, missions first before we dive into the playstyle. Alright, so the missions are pretty much the same as any other events. Uh, of course, like um, here, the day actually just resetted uh, in the game. It's now the 19th of April 2018, which is also coincidentally Makina's birthday. So happy birthday to Maki Maki. <laughs> Anyways, so as you can see, the daily mission is already here. So uh, every day it refreshes. So every day you have a chance to earn 1200 zodiac medals, which is very, very essential if you are unlocking the uh, episode plates and under the chaos exchange menu. So yeah. Um, so apparently this time round in the missions, there are two daily missions, which is very, very interesting because this has never happened before. So this is a brand new first for Uta Macross. Um, an event has two daily missions. All right. So let's just take a look. I'm going to read from the bottom. Um, so these are the more commonly seen ones. So, all right. You just have to, for, let's say, okay, I'm going to just point out here from this one from the number 10 to number 25 okay what you need to do basically um when you play an event live uh make sure you um how you say you beat your rival's score so you just need to beat your uh you just need to beat your rivals 25 times uh it doesn't have to be consecutively it, it can be compiled up together up to 25 times as long as you beat them with their score i mean beat them against their score uh you should clear these missions um easily then of course we have the full combo versions from all the way from easy oops easy to extreme so <laughs> you're, wonder you're wondering what song did i clear under extreme to have full combo well there are two songs in this event that you can actually try doing that um, I'll explain them later on when we go into the mission event page. Then from here, we have the high score event missions. So from the 50,000, um, sorry, not 50,000, uh, 500,000. So yeah, the Japanese use man, so um, that's 10,000. So 50, 10,000, so it's 500,000. Uh, all right, so it's... Uh, 500,000 all the way up to yeah, here we go so it's uh, 1 million and 200,000 so these missions basically you just need to make sure that your episode plates are well slotted onto your divas uh, before you play any of the songs that you attempt or rather it's, it's if not wrong yeah it's the main song so so Dayo um, that is performed by Rankali all right, so next few, basically, um, you just need to compete with opponents who are S live, or rather the S ranking, S ranking, EX ranking. So yeah, that's pretty much easy. Um, but you have to beat them. That's the thing. So, um, if you are fighting against the EX opponents, uh, which I'll explain later, um. Make sure you choose a level that you are capable of handling. Um, usually, once you've unlocked the higher levels, those are usually the harder ones to, uh, how you say, beat your opponents with. So, if you really want to clear all these missions uh, quickly, and you don't want to play, you don't want to spend so much time playing these events because it's not the diva that you're um, the most supportive with. So, just choose a lower uh level and then just continuously beat your opponents uh with like piece uh piece of cake so all right so anyways um here we have okay i am still doing those that it needs to beat your opponents um because uh, um i've been trying to push myself to unlock higher levels uh yeah so it's kind of difficult, so hence my slow progression in the missions. If not by right, I should have completed it by now. Alright, so EX Life. Then there is this EX Life uh, mission. Basically, 
you will you go against EX opponents and make sure you win against them. So that's uh becoming a bit of a hassle right now because um the level that I'm at, I'm trying to unlock the next level. Um yeah, it's proving to be a bit difficult with the episode plates I am currently having on hand. So yeah. Okay, um let me go into let's see. Uh in the main menu 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 tab. Alright, so if you're wondering what the Chaos Exchange is, you can see the Zodiac Medal is here. You can tap it so you can actually see what episode plate is uh, exchangeable here. So mostly all Macross Frontier plates uh, featuring Alto. So make sure you have enough Zodiac Medals to exchange them, um, especially if you want free 6 star plates. So if you guys are still wondering how I read my episode plates, now I'm just going to go into the episode plates here because a lot of people have been, um, how do I say, defensive with the way I read my episode plates. <laughs> so okay, I'm going to go by rarity here. So short sort by rarity. As you can see instantly, these are 6 star plates because they are fully evolved. Now, I do not call these plates 5 stars because if you go down further uh, below, okay, there are episode plates that are maxed out and they are 5 stars. Hence, I do not call 6 star plates 5 star plates. Even though you obtain those plates at 5 stars, but you evolve them and it becomes 6 stars. So, theoretically, they should be called 6 star plates instead of 5 star plates. Because if you look at this one, the evolved versions are 5 stars. But when you obtain them, they are 4 stars. And then of course, if you go down the rarity line, there are 4 star episode plates as well. Let's see, here we go. Let's see, where is it? Oh, there, there we go, 4 stars. So, it doesn't make sense to call a 6 star plate a 5 star plate. Because eventually when you fully evolve the plate, it's going to rank up to 6 stars. And then of course you're going to com uh, confuse yourself with the fully evolved 5 star plates as well. So please, please, uh, I will recommend if you follow my um, naming sense for this episode plates, do not call them 5 stars, call them 6 star plates. Uh, because it gets very confusing. Um, eventually when I explain to you guys in another video, um, which plates you should focus on and which you shouldn't so that will be another interesting topic to talk about anyway that aside let's go into the event and i'm going to explain to you guys how these events are or rather how this particular new event style is um worked around so this event style actually came about last round i think the because every month um, we have three different types of events and this style of event was only in, uh, introduced last month so um, when you play this particular event okay so the bar the the menu here is pretty much the same on the left hand side of the screen all right so the top portion here is the only special edition and this one here as well um, there are a few buttons here as well that are pretty new along with the whole uh, event style. So what are the differences? Okay, so if you recall, I said that there is a level that I'm, I'm trying to unlock. Now if I tap, uh, hold on. So currently, if you see there is this 40 out of 100. Okay, in order to fight an EX opponent, you need to charge up this bar. So you need to obtain points. Now, how do you obtain the points? Basically, if you look under the rules, okay, so how you get the points. Now, if you beat your opponent of a certain rank, A, S, A, and B, at the end, you will gain a flat rate of 3,100 points. This goes to your score that you unlock all your rewards in the ev uh, event reward boards. So, and these are the points that you get for your EX gauge. So, now, if you win your opponent, you will get 40 out of 100 EX 
gauge uh, points. Uh, if you lose, well, it's cut to half. So you only gain 20, then 15 and 10, so on and so forth. So do take note, these are very, very important. So like the older version of this event, um, where you have uh, to compete against your opponent's high score, um, the higher their opponent's rival's ranking, the harder the or rather the the higher their total score is so this time round with this new implementation of style um the the opponent's total score is already fixed so let's take a look and as you can see of course um the higher i mean the more the more points that you obtain um during the end of the ex ex battle um the your how you say this um your battle class will uh, improve as well so battle class um i will explain in a while so let me just exit out of here okay so what was i explaining again <laughs> i'm kind of lost track at this point in time. uh just give me a moment let me recall um where was i talking about oh yeah um so your your ex um grade so um when you complete a certain grade they will give you a great medal so these medals are permanent so you can give them a while to load because there are quite a few medals so as you can see i'm stuck at grade 21 i'm trying to unlock grade 22 but apparently with my set of medals that i currently own i can only compete at grade 20 in this particular event which is kind of sad um so i can beat standard rivals but when it comes to ex rivals i have to struggle a bit so that's kind of uh Saddening, so I might want to consider going down a grade just to make sure that I can obtain the full amount of points uh, against an EX rival. Yeah. Okay. All right. So there's a lot to talk about in this um, EX high score battle event style because it's a brand new style uh, based off an older version of this event uh, it has a lot more new mechanics involved so it's a bit more confusing to explain so i'll try my best to make it as simple to understand as possible so as you can see here you have um, songs that are randomized except for the first one which is the main event song it will always be there it's permanently there only the last two will be randomized uh, they have a, they have a few songs to actually um, let you play to gain the points for your events so yeah uh, of course you always want to play against the highest um, rival rank that you can there as you can see here um, there's a fixed score of uh, 108 Oh, sorry, 1,000, eh, 1,080, sorry, uh, how do I read this? 1,080,000 points. So your opponent has 1,080,000 points. You just need to beat their score and you will be able to gain the S rank rewards, um, the points that is given at the end of the S rank and plus your EX gauge points as well. So once you hit 100 and 100, um, your EX rival will appear. They will also have a fixed amount of score you have to beat. So once you've beat that, you unlock um, a certain um, rank of you know your high score rank your ex rank um that rank okay oops sorry um that rank depends about the amount of score needed to unlock that particular rank uh, i'm not sure how i can check that now um i forgot how to check it never mind if i'm not wrong you have to check this and on this button here um I'm currently i'm not gonna press okay because i have points in my gauge if i were to press okay on this the points that i've gained currently will be reset to zero so it lets me choose the um ex rank uh, that i wish to compete against so if you find that the rank that you're currently on is too difficult for you to uh, surpass your opponents you might want to choose a lower one um, but make sure that of course the gauge is depleted uh, make sure you have faced against the ex uh, 
rival before you decide to choose a new rank because if you're going to reset and you have points on the gauge already it's going to be a waste of your energy consumption that you use to play the lives to gain those points so do take note of that all right so um of course you saw me press this tab now what is this uh, set of numbers on each of the songs basically these are the songs or rather the high scores on your songs that you've played um, for the EX Rivals. There are three songs, so as you can see, of course, we have uh, Sodayo, Lion, and My Soul For You. Um, these three songs are the main highlight songs under EX Rival Challenge. Of course, they will take the high score of the, um, the song when you play against your E-Rex rival they will combine all three scores to give you this high score and of course below is your EX battle score ranking now this ranking is different from this ranking here okay um, because that high score ranking will give you um, a different kind of reward oh wait I'm mistaken. <laughs> so okay, that, this score is this ranking. Oh my goodness, I'm so confused right now. Um, cause in the past this ranking is um, hmm, in the past this ranking was based off the amount of points that you've gained. Uh, so this points is your combined high scores of the songs. Well, this one. Is the amount of points you gain at the end of each life added together to unlock all of these rewards excuse me so yeah that's why you can see these points it's the same as this one here and of course the bottom numbers is basically the amount of points that you need to unlock the next item which i have here is the episode plate okay so that's just the main portion of the mechanics for this game um yeah, this event is really really okay uh like in the last video when i talked about this event this event is a bit unfair because if your plates are not good um don't expect to rank high uh yeah because this game this event doesn't count on um total amount of points gained but it rather it relies on your ex battle high score which is the add a total of these three high scores to give you your ranking so from the looks of it i am at 734 um i i can expect myself on the last day to maybe drop below 1000 i probably will be within the um 2000 to 1000 range maybe i'm speculating here um because i don't think i will be able to obtain any um, important episode plates right now to help me boost my score okay so if you're still unclear of what kind of episode plates you need to equip on your diva to help you boost your score let me just show you an example because uh, every event is basically the same thing as you can see there's this episode bonus if you're not sure what episode plates are under the 5% of each tab tap the tab and it will show you the whole list of episode plates under that 5% bonus. You just need to equip one of these shown to you. Do not equip multiple of the same category episode plates because it will not give you more than 5% boost. Alright, so if you, if you equip this and this on a diva, you will still only get 5% boost. You will not get 10%. So in order to increase the amount of percentage from the episode bonus, you need to equip one of each episode play under each category. So hopefully that brings down to uh, make things clearer for everyone. Alright, so I'm not going to show you guys how to do the um, diva uh episode plate setup because usually i'll just go auto then i just change the lousier plates to the uh, episode bonus plates so that's pretty much my way of playing um i also do this if you want tips and tricks 
um, under the list of units you can save I always have like um, because I'm always training my divas for their proficiency levels um, so hence you will see that like Soda Yo 01 this is group 1 this is the first set of divas that I use for the event then once Freya gets to level 3 proficiency I change it to Mikumo then Makina and Reina will still continue to gain the points then from there I will go on to Soldayo 3 which I have yet to create because um, I haven't really got the ch chance to play Soldayo again uh, with a new set of divas so I'm still waiting for the chance you know in why why do I not have the chance to play Soldayo again because usually the other songs will have the S rank rivals other than Soldayo so that's pretty annoying in this kind of event <laughs> all right so let's see what else do I still need to talk about all right so if you look at the re rewards you can see um the important items as always are highlighted in gold or yellow whichever color um pronoun naming you want to go by then of course you have your ranking of course top 100 players will gain the gold medal i can kiss this goodbye because of this uh, format of event uh, it's impossible for me to obtain top 100 with the 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 how do you say the quality of my six star plates <laughs> i i don't have that many wonderful six star plates that have um secret bots unlocked so if you're not familiar with the term secret bots basically your episode plate will have that plus one plus two plus three luck factor which will help you gain more score when you tap a perfect note it might change to an excellent so these are game mechanic basics uh, if you are not familiar with those I recommend you to um, look back at my older videos I do talk about all this when they were first released um, those format styles of playing so there's quite a bit to catch up <laughs> um, there is no difficulty challenge this time round uh, so yeah that's pretty good uh, I guess uh, lesser things to worry about sorry guys that this video ended up being so long because this this format of event is really really annoying uh, I can understand that you know you may not want to put so much heart and soul into this particular event uh, I want to try and at least get all my divas to level 3 proficiency uh, because it's it's always good to you know not have your divas locked at level 4 proficiency uh, when eventually when they reach level 4 because there are certain songs that are not at level 3 proficiency to unlock that song's proficiency limit okay <laughs> it is confusing just to hear me ramble um but yeah there have been older videos that i've made that were talking about all these mechanics before if you have the time and passion to really learn about uta my cross please go give those videos a look um i do know i do know that there are a lot of videos under my U uta my cross uh playlist uh so take your time <laughs> Alright guys, so thank you guys so much for watching and listening me um, talk non-stop about this event. Um, I wish I can suggest to you more things but you know this event is really really harsh for F2P or free to play players. Um, if you're not a whale that toss money into the game and gain multiple multiple repeats of six star episode plates to power them up this event sadly is not for us so uh, even though it's a ranka event i am still gonna try my hardest to unlock all the rewards at least the minimum because i need the zodiac medals to obtain all the episode plates available that includes the two six star episode plates that you can get Plus, of course, the lower ranking episode plates as well because I would love to share the images of those episode plates to you guys on Facebook, uh, especially for those who do not play Uta and Macross uh, because of um, installation problems. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so thank you guys so much for listening me uh, to me ramble on and on as always if you like what you see and hear do support my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell notification icon for more Utah Macross content in the future and I'll see you guys in the next video bye